From the Oppo Coast Studios in Oklahoma City, this is OU Basketball with Mike Baldwin. I'm Jenny Carlson. Mike, a big Bedlam victory for the Sooners on Saturday. It's, you never know in Bedlam, but that, that had to be a pick-me-up for the Sooners. Well, especially because it's Cade Davis' final game. He had played so hard. He had played well uh, the last four or five games. They went a month without a win. So a lot of people wanted to win 4K. They needed a win because they'd been pretty competitive and played hard other than one or two games. So to just finally get that eight-game losing streak over with was big, but everybody was trying to do it for K because he's the one senior. Yeah, and now they go to Kansas City. Do they have a chance to maybe win a game or two in Big 12 uh, tournament play? Well, obviously, the first round, Baylor's a team they split with. They beat him at home after the blizzard. Remember the game that was postponed one day? Played him pretty tough tonight. Kay Davis didn't play down in Waco because his grandmother died earlier that day, so they played them pretty well both games. As we know, Bader's one of those teams, very athletic, uh, maybe questionably coached, but it depends on which Baylor team shows up because they're probably going to need a couple wins to get to the NCAA tournament. So have, have they melded in? Are they disappointed they're not going to the tournament or are they motivated to go and try to get a couple wins? They could, uh, oh, you would have maybe a chance in that first one, but of course if you win that one, guess what? Then you get Texas. So <laughs> <laughs> Definitely tough in the Big 12 tournament. Uh, you wrote in your uh, OU Basketball Insider on Monday about Jeff Capel and, and his future in, uh, you know, at, 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 in Norman, what's your what's your best guess right now about his future? Is this going to be a coaching change off season for the Sooners? I don't think so. Joe C is the guy, the only guy that can make that decision. He's the one that's going to have to weigh all the data. I think he'll give Capel one more year just because he he liked what he saw as far as progress this year. The biggest concern is there's not a whole lot more talent coming in. Romero Osby, the uh, transfer from Mississippi State, he set out this year. He'll be there. They got Goff, a JUCO recruit from uh, uh, the Kansas League that's always pretty good. But he needs another player or two here in the next signing period. So if he makes a decision, though, I think he's going to have to make it pretty quick because the next coach would probably like to get another player or two to go with all the guys that are coming back. As I wrote, they may have mid-major level talent mainly on this roster. There's a couple of three really good players. you got the Cameron Clarks, Fitzgerald, Pledge, or a few others, but you need a few more players. That's why this spring signing period is important. So if he's going to make a change, he probably needs to do it pretty quickly so the other coach would come in, but I doubt he will. I think Capel will be back next year. All right. Thanks, Mike. Hey, stay with the best coverage team anywhere at NewsOK.com and every day in the Oklahoman.